Hi friends, um, this is part 8 of stock management software. In this video, we'll discuss how to create crystal report in C-Sharp publication. Um, okay, uh, products report. This will be looks like this. Uh, here we have the products report header. Then our uh, printed date will display here. Then we have three columns in tables. Uh, serial number, product code and a product name. This will be a crystal report viewer. Like this, uh, we will make products report in this application. Okay, for that I need... Uh, new folder reports inside this folder i will create a um, new crystal report designs second one report forms inside this folder we will create windows forms for this uh, displaying reports third data Inside this folder, we will create data set. Okay, first we will create data set here. Add new item. Inside this, under data, select data set. Click add. Data set is created. Inside this, we have to add the table data set uh, which has a collection of data tables okay for that uh, here we are adding data tables here uh, already we have data connections inside that if you don't have already data connections here right click add connection then uh, here select the server name if I am using local connection, I put dot, then select the database. Okay. Okay, already I have data connection. So here I need products, products table, and then stock table. These two table I am going to use for designing, sorry, report. Okay. Now, uh, this data set part is completed okay report form now i am going to add report form here right click add new windows form here products report then click add here we have the screen in toolbox report crystal report viewer If you don't want this sidebar okay here click this small icon here then group tree choose a tool panel view none okay the tree is disabled now if you want to display the toolbar you can keep it as it is otherwise you can uncheck this checkbox We need to call this um, products report form in stock main form here under report we have product list double click here reports report form dot products report Then I just copy these three lines and pasting here, changing this name. Okay, let's see. So now the screen is working. Okay. now we have to create a crystal report for uh, to display the reports here right click add new item inside uh, select your reporting your crystal reports here name the crystal report product click add 
here select as a blank report click ok ok this is the blank crystal report now we have to start designing this screen ok let's uh, right click here design page setup here change um, page options to A4 then click ok ok now we have to display the title products report for that right click insert text object inside that products report then change this font size right click format object here yeah, change font to 12 and the style will bold Okay, click OK. Okay, now next here we want to display the printer date. For that, here right click, insert special field inside that uh, print, select print date. Okay. Then here we have to display the um, text printer date for that right click text text object the text will be printer date okay now adjust this now we have um, see this in main report preview here Okay, the date is displayed in from 2306 2018 okay if you want to change the date format right click your format object is there here you can select um, any options okay i'm selecting 30301 then click customize here uh, we have the order first we want to display the year month date means you can choose this um i want to display this as day month year you can uh, select the separator also here select separator forward slash or icon like whatever you want okay then click ok okay then this is the report header we created okay then in page header serial number product code and a product name or comes under this page header then detail section will be um, these things one two three product uh, data okay then report foot, uh, footer here we don't have any footer so here we are not using that okay here we have to create page header for that insert text object inside that serial number Here I added a product code and a product name text object. Okay, then we want to change this font size or font style. Select three and uh, format multiple objects. Here select font. Here you can uh, select the size or style. Bold. Click OK. Then. In this detail section, we have to display the data from this database. Okay, for that, here select database, right click database expert. Here we have a connection already, stock data set. If you don't have the connection, right, create new connection. Here select uh, ADO.net or database files, you can select the uh, options connections okay here i already added data connections here stock table here we have two tables in data set okay products and stock now we need a products table for this uh, products report okay select the table then click this button it will come here okay click okay then uh, expand this option here we have the products table inside this 
we have to display the product code and the product name serial number this is not from the database here we have to display the from this report right click insert your special field here select uh, record number it will automatically generate for every record okay here already we have uh, page header so record field heading not required so just delete it okay yeah format this uh, record number option right click format object by default it's in right side we want to show it and left side for that select common here horizontal alignment by default uh, change to left then font number so it's in minus value if you want to change this to positive values select this one then click ok ok then product code drag this product code from here delete this uh, field heading expand this one then product name yeah now we want to change this uh, product code alignment uh, from right to left okay um, format object here yeah common set left the number will be positive click ok ok now in main report view ok this report will looks like this serial number product code product name ok if you want to um, show a table here like this with the uh, lines we can add here um, in select toolbox here here line object okay Okay, now in uh, main report view, okay, our report will looks like this. We can adjust the minimum points. Okay, then right click here, section one report editor, fit section, here fit section, here also. To avoid um, unnecessary spaces, we are fixing like this fit section. Okay. Designing part of this product dot uh, rpt file is completed. On uh, we have to call this um, product report inside this product report form. Okay, here and form load event. So before that, we have to add this report document crypt equal to new report document. This is for crystal report decisions okay use this namespace crystal decisions dot crystal reports dot engine okay in form load event okay when we are um, running this form um, we have to display the product list okay for that i'm adding this code here crypto dot load here uh, in this double quote we have to specify the path for this uh, product uh, report file okay for that um, here stock master folder in that um, stock master folder we have reports folder okay click here we have product dot cs file okay copy this path go to here here inside double quote paste it then forward slash products okay 
copy this file name here uh, crypt dot load here first we are loading the product dot rpt report file this is the path of this file okay then we are connecting uh, sql connection then opening the connection here we are using uh, data set dst equal to new data set uh, this is we are creating data set object dst if you are using more than one table means uh, um, this is okay if you are using single table means it's enough to use data table okay here we are using data table only uh, here we are fetching data Data from this products table select star from products then we are assigning the term into sda dot fill dt here crypt uh, uh, dot set data source will be dt um, crypt uh, crystal report viewer here we used in this report viewer dot report source will be this script okay now um, let's see how it works Okay, save the application run this application again then go to report menu here product list okay here um, we have the product list uh, serial number product code and the product name uh, here we have the date printer date it's displaying first date month and then year here we have the header okay okay guys uh, in our next video we'll discuss how to create stock report for this stock management software uh, okay thank you for watching this one see you there in next video bye